hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel today i share how to make this delicious assorted meat stew if you taste this stew hmm, very sweet so let's begin to begin i'm going to wash the tomatoes red bell pepper onions i love to use lots of onion for my stews i like the taste it brings to the stew I'm also going to add some scotch bonnet pepper use as much as you can tolerate now this is the pepper mix bags i'm using for this stew feel free to use shomb or green bell pepper whatever one you have tatashi use it so i'm going to add some salt i love to wash everything with salt rinse it off with water until it is clean and then we move to the next step so now the washing is done, I'm going to cut them up into this pot and boil before blending. This process does two things. Number one, it saves a lot of time, even faster than the regular blending before boiling. Yes, and then the excess water is also drained out in that process. Number two, I love the taste it adds to this too. Yeah, try it, maybe you'll like it. So place it on fire, cover and allow it to boil. Meanwhile, in another pot, I'm going to add the shaki, the bomo, and the liver. Add some water, cover, and bring this to a boil. This should take you around 7 minutes. You don't want to do this for too long. At this point, I check on the pepper mix. Look at all that water that came out from the tomatoes in such a short time. So I'm going to give this a gentle stir, take it off the heat and drain out the water. You don't want to blend the tomatoes with the water. The aim will be defeated. So make sure you drain the water and then blend until it is smooth. Another thing this method does is that it gives you a very smooth tomato base. To the final batch, I added some garlic and ginger. I'm going to blend this now and add it to the rest of the puree. I'm going to set this aside and then check on our meat. It has come to a boil now. I'm going to drain this and rinse it off with cold water. I like to do this anytime I'm cooking with the intestinal part of meat. We all know how the intestine of meat can be. You have to clean it really well. But then, like I said, don't do this for too long so you don't cook out all the nutrients in the meat yeah maximum seven minutes is fine and then you're sure of a clean and tasty meat so once that is done i'm going to pour it back into the pot and then add the red meat now i'm using beef next i'm going to blend some onions garlic and ginger add that into the meat what i did was rinse out the jar and added the water in it as well next i'm going to season with some curry powder thyme seasoning cubes this spice i was just adding any spice i saw this one is called spice city i know it's used for stew itself but hey i'm using it to cook my meat next i'm going to add some salt and then stir very well to combine i'm going to let this steam for 15 minutes without adding water if it's your first time here i want to specially thank you for clicking and for watching up until this point please don't forget to click the like button subscribe and turn your bell notification on so you get all my posts anytime i upload a new video and to my returning subscribers i love you thank you for always watching 15 minutes later i'm going to add just a bit of water and cook until the beef and the liver is done this took roughly 10 to 12 minutes and 12 minutes later i'm going to take out all the meat at this point the momo the shaki is still quite hard but don't worry we have a plan just take everything out and keep watching meanwhile don't throw out that meat stock sieve it and save it we'll need it later in another pot, I'm going to now heat up some oil. We're making a lot of stew, so that's why I'm using this amount of oil. You need enough oil to fry the stew anyway, 
at the end of the cooking you can scoop out the oil that floats to the top so now i'm going to fry the beef and the liver i'm not going to fry the shaki and the momo so set that aside Once the beef and the liver is dry, not kakaraka dry, oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> scoop it out and set it aside. Can you guess how many of this meat I ate before this cooking ended? Let me know in the comment section. So over here I have sliced some onions. I'm going to fry it in this oil for two minutes until it is well infused into the oil. Two minutes later, the onion is fragrant. Next, I'm going to pour in a blended pepper mix. From this point on, you want to reduce your gas and let this fry on medium-low heat. Like I always say, the secret to a best tasting stew all the time is for you to just reduce your gas and be patient. That way, everything cooks slowly, everything is well infused, they marry each other, and the end result is a delicious stew all the time so i'm going to stir this around and cover this halfway through you can leave it open if you don't mind this platter but i don't want to do a lot of work after cooking mm -mm. so i'm going to cover halfway through and let this fry gently you also want to stir every now and then so it doesn't burn So 15 to 20 minutes into frying the stew, I'm going to now add the shaki and the momo. Remember when I first parboiled this, it was still very hard when I took it off the heat. So I'm going to add it early enough into the stew so it can cook together with the tomato base. That way the flavor is infused into the stew and vice versa. So I'm going to stir this around before adding my seasoning. You want to add all the seasoning you need to add at this point, your seasoning cube, your salt, and the meat stock i'm going to add the meat stock as well so add everything and then cover halfway through again so you can start simmering on medium heat Make sure you keep an eye on this. Every now and then, go in and stir so it doesn't burn. So after a while, you start to see oil flow to the top of the pot. Then you know we are getting there. So I'm going to stir one last time before I add the fried beef and the fried liver. Once I add that, I'm going to let this simmer again for another 10 minutes so everything can come together. So this was 10 minutes after I added the fried beef and the fried liver. I'm going to stir this around. You can see all the oil have floated to the top of the pot as well. This is how you know your stew is ready. I tasted at this point and I thought I needed a little bit more seasoning. So I adjusted with some adobo all-purpose seasoning. 
you guys the aroma from this pot was nose blinding it almost blinded my nose so good and delicious so i've added the seasoning i'm going to stir this around and you know let everything come together again for another five minutes before i take it off the heat and our delicious assorted stew is ready you can have this with rice plantain yam bread beans i mean the list is endless and trust me anybody that tastes this to you will love you so mind how you cook it okay <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video i hope you get to try this out and actually love it send me your pictures on instagram at joyfulcook underscore if you get to try this out and i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching bye